hola, hola. Hola, buenas noches a todos. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, buen evening, buen evening. Estamos esperando que se conecten los demás para luego dar inicio. No sé si me están oyendo bien. Sí, claro, le escuchamos súper sí, bien. Sí, se escucha, se escucha. Okay. escucha bien. Excelente. Es posible que en ciertos momentos quizás tengamos algunas interferencias de algunos ruidos que son incontrolables, pero eso será pasajero, ¿no? Bienvenidos a este nuevo módulo. Voy a explicar quizás la mayoría de cosas al inicio en español para luego ya, pues en lo que se incorporan los demás, comenzamos ya en inglés completamente. Mi nombre es Max Lazo y es un placer estar con ustedes. Voy a estar siempre pendiente para poderles ir ayudando en lo que al idioma se refiera. Luego tendremos, pues cuando ya estén todos, un espacio y haremos nuestra autopresentación en Everything Has to Be in English because I consider that you already got uh, module one and two. Ahorita, si tienen alguna pregunta, pues podemos hacerla para luego este, que podamos entrar ya en materia. Me gustaría saber si ya todos tienen su manual descargado, eh, si ya le dieron alguna revisada o todavía no lo tenemos. Les oigo. Yo sí ya lo descargué solo. Hola. Sí, alguien más uh, habló y no le, no le comprendí. Sí, buenas noches. Yo todavía no lo he descargado. Pero ya tiene el link de dónde lo va a descargar. Sí, correcto. Perfecto. Es necesario que lo tengamos todos para que así podamos eh, ir reforzando lo que veremos hoy y poderle dar seguimiento y tener como base el, el contenido para la hora de, de irse haciendo los ejercicios que tenemos que hacer. Veamos cuántos tenemos. Teacher, eh, mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Stephanie. Eh, ahorita estoy saliendo del trabajo, pero ya me voy a conectar bien con ustedes. Ok, perfecto. Excelente. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Eh, Le saluda Fran Alvarenga, Francisco Alvarenga. Excelente. Eh, solo una consulta, teacher. Este, la guía o, o, o el material, ese también lo encontramos en la plataforma. Eh, sí, ahí lo pueden encontrar, pero yo también se lo voy a enviar eh, vía WhatsApp para que puedan eh, tenerlo ahí y, y puedan andarlo incluso en sus teléfonos, para que en un momento libre, pues, ustedes le puedan dar una miradita, ¿sí? Ok, hey, teacher, gracias. Ok. ¿Alguien más tiene alguna consulta? Yo tenía una consulta. Ok, dígame. Sí, fíjense que eh, con respecto a la plataforma de aprendizaje, eh, ¿cómo hago para poder modificar mi perfil? Mi nombre está mal escrito en ella. 
en la plataforma para sí. mi nombre bien vamos a al finalizar la, la sesión bueno voy a tomar sus datos y voy a buscar la manera de cómo ayudarle en eso ok y luego, gracias y luego le contacto vía whatsapp ok gracias No. Bien, tenemos 16 participantes, nos hacen falta todavía, pero creo que ya está la mayoría. Welcome to this. English course. My name is Max Lasso. I'm a specialist in the English language and I will be your facilitator during this module. I hope that all of you can understand the way that I speak because from one teacher to another, uh, sometimes it's really difficult to understand the way he or she speak English. In my case, I'm going to try to speak in a slow way in order that all of you can understand exactly all my words. If you have any question, just write your hand and ask the question. Okay, uh, from this time, you have uh, the, the opportunity in order that you can introduce yourself and you can mention uh, general information your name, the place where do you live, uh, where do you work, and so on. I would like to listen to you, and uh, I need a volunteer that start introducing him or herself. Desde este momento queda eh, abierta la plenaria para que puedan presentarse uno a uno, mencionando su nombre, el lugar donde vive, el trabajo, lo, todo lo que la información que ustedes consideren que pueden compartir en el grupo, para que así nos vayamos conociendo uno a uno. Lo que ha dilatado la información. Esta parte está acá, una forma de saber que el votar porque el votar porque el votar Hagamos lo, lo que se pueda hacer. Y pues si todavía no se comprende muy bien, pues hagámoslo de la manera que se pueda. Good night. Okay. My name is Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Okay. Trabajo en la empresa de Cotecna en Salvador y soy de Santa Ana. Muchas gracias. Okay, welcome. Somebody else? Hi. Uh, my name is Roxana. I work in Tradesa. I live in San Salvador. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Diana Doñan. I work in Art Metal. Mi buen San Salvador. Okay. Alguien más? Good evening. Uh, my name is Rosa Vázquez. Uh, I live in uh, San Salvador. I work alcaldía in San Salvador. Okay. Alguien sabe cómo se dice alcaldía en inglés? Le damos el vocabulario. Si no me equivoco es City Hall. Excelente, así es. Sigamos adelante, pero tranquilitos que vamos a ir paso a paso. ¿Alguien más? Good evening. Good evening. 
Good evening. Good evening. My name is Wilfredo Guardado. I live in Santana City and I work in American Park. I work to Fruto de Lun El Salvador. Okay, excellent. Welcome. Somebody else? Good evening. My name is Eliane Alejandra Nativi Rivera. I am 25 years old. I live in Olocuelta. I work in John Juan, El Salvador. Okay, excellent. Alguien más? My name is Pablo Mariola. Hello, my name is Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Uh, I am from La Palma, Chalatenango. Uh, I work in El Salvador. Excelente. Siguiente. Good evening, good evening. <coughs> Hello, good evening. My name is Walter Mauricio Morales Arago. I live in the city of Olocuilta. And I work for the company in El Salvador, SADCB. I work in this department. Okay. Welcome. Uh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Alguien más? Here. Hello, teacher. Hi. My name is Francisco Alvarenga. I work for Tecna El Salvador as system operator. Okay. Siguiente. Good evening. My name is Edward Noyola. ¿Me escucha? Sí, claro, adelante. Okay. Uh, my name is Edward Noyola. I work in Cotegna, El Salvador. I live in Navizalco. Okay. Alguien más? Good evening. My name is Marielos. I live in Soyapango. I work in library. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Fausto Landa Verde. I live in Toyapango. Um, I work uh, for uh, Nuevo Siglo SADSB. Thank you. Okay. Alguien falta? Hello, my name is Christian Salazar. I am living in Metapan. I work with Plan El Salvador. Okay. Good evening. My name is Genara Garcia. I live in El San Salvador. I work in City Hall. Okay, in the City Hall. Okay, falta alguien? Bueno, vamos a, a pasar la lista. Teacher. Hola. Will you repeat your name, please? Okay, my name is Max Lazo. Max. Lazo. Yeah, my, my full name Thank is you. Jose Jose Maximiliano Lazo de Leon. But everybody knows me like Max Lazo. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Let me check up the attendance for today. Vamos a pasarles la lista.
Solo me van respondiendo si se encuentra Rosa Esperanza Vázquez. Hola. Rosa. Ok. Thank you. Genara Inés García. Present. Excelente. Margarita Estefany Gutiérrez. Margarita, are you there? No. Okay, Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ada Daisy. Ada Daisy Arevalo. No está. Diana Carolina. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Wilfredo Guardado. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Leslie Fernández. Present teacher. Ok. Francisco Javier. Present, present teacher. Edward Ademir. Present teacher. Okay. How do you pronounce uh, your second name? Ademir. Ah. Es What? doble D. Uh -huh. Ad Ademir. Uh -huh. sí. Okay. okay, thank you. Eh, Obdulio Salazar. Okay. Alexis Antonio. Present teacher. Felicita Cruz. Felicita. Are you there? Ana Roxana Bautista. Present teacher. Okay. Helen María. Helen María Chávez. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Carla Mar Marielos Guevara. Present. Margarita Stephanie Mengíbar. Margarita Stephanie. Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. How do you pronounce your first name? Eleani. Ah, Eleani, ok. Les pregunto porque los nombres a veces son como caprichosos, ¿no? Walter Mauricio Morales. Present teacher. Ok. Ok, excelente. Ok, uh, before to... Sure. Ok, dame. Este, Margarita Stephanie Gutiérrez está conectada, pero tiene problemas con la activación del micrófono. Entonces, ah, por okay. eso no le ha contestado. ¿Está viendo eso? Sí, sí, pero excelente. Ahorita le vamos a... Margarita Stephanie. 
Okay. Se va a ir a acostar, amor mío, y no te voy a ver. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to share with you the manual that we are going to use. Could you tell me if you are able to see it? Me pueden decir si ya lo están viendo? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfecto. How many of you uh, already downloaded? ¿Cuántos de ustedes ya lo descargaron? No. Está bien. Bueno, luego vamos a, a, a compartirles cómo lo van a hacer. Right here is a National English for Work program in El Salvador. I'm going to read this uh, paragraph in order that we get familiar with this information. Welcome to the learner. Welcome to the module three of the beginner level. This set of worksheet will accompany you throughout a uh, 56 hour of, of instruction from day one. You will acquire the competencies that are necessary to communicate successful in your workplace. All activities are oriented to develop listening, comprehension, speaking, reading, writing, pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary skill. You will also see some suggested website for extended practice on your own in your free time. Congratulations to being a participant of this course and for giving your best to become competent in the English language. Uh, ¿Será que todos comprenden lo que dice el párrafo? Hola. I'm okay, teacher. Se comprende? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Let's go to the beginning here. Okay. Uh, during this module, we are going to develop four units. The first one that is the name is company identity. The second one is socializing. And the number three, communication at the worst place. And the last one, travel plans. In this case, today we are going to talk about the number one. And at the same time, we have some competencies and vocabulary that we are going to develop. For example, right here it says stay an effective business mission and vision statement. Uh, we need to talk about how to explain the impact of core values in the company, culture, and its employees. Describe how many departments related to another in the organization. And uh, you are going to write a short paragraph about the reputation of your company. Related to vocabulary, we need to talk about core values. Example, like responsibility, innovation, punctuality, loyalty, service to others. But let's go to the topic that we have here. Okay, right here, unit one, company identity. Somebody could, uh, I need that somebody help me to read the objective that we have for today, right here. I will be able to, a volunteer.
Alguien que me lea, por favor, el, eh, el objetivo que tenemos. Ok. El número uno, teacher. Right here. Yeah. Acá, right. Um, okay. Effective Bucena okay. Mission and Vision Statement. Ok, thank you. Dice, write an effective business mission and vision statement. ¿Se comprende lo que dice? Yes, teacher. Sí, alguien que me lo diga en español. Lee en efectividad los negocios, la misión y visión del departamento o no, no sé ahí sí ok alguien más tenemos que tener claro sería como leer eh, la misión y la visión de, del negocio de cada uno de nuestros negocios sí pero en este caso dice right Leer. Escribir. 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 Ah. Escribir. Escribir. Ok. We are going to write an effective business mission and vision statements. All of you know what is vision and mission, right? Teacher, sería escribir, escribir una... una misión efectiva de negocios y visión. Uh -huh. Así es. Así es. Okay, uh, and the number one said, let us start. It is important for staff to know the mission and vision of the company and why. But the first question is, could somebody tell me uh, what is the concept of mission in a company? ¿Cuál es el concepto de la misión? ¿Qué es la misión en una compañía? It is the place that all the company want to be there, teacher, about uh, your business. Okay. Somebody else? Uh, talking, talking about. Somebody else? Hello. Es importante conocer la misión y la visión de la compañía, porque como es siempre tra trabaja, trabajo que hacemos, la compañía cierra, closer, eh, eh, la compañía cierra la, la visión, algo así. No sé okay. si. Ok, the idea is there. But we need to clarify it, okay? Somebody else? Alguien más? Como que sí, es importante que nuestro grupo de trabajo conozca la misión y la visión de nuestra compañía. Okay. Porque este, como que si todos los días tenemos que implementarla, algo así, si no es posible que se cierre si no se conoce una visión, como que sí es posible que se cierre la empresa, algo así. Bien. Sí, ¿alguien más? ¿Somebody else? Remember that a mission statement defined the company business, its objectives, and its approach to reach those objectives. And we need to focus on that. En español, uh, ¿cuál sería la misión de una empresa? Porque debemos de tener claro entre la misión y la visión. Imagino que en los lugares donde cada uno de ustedes labora, pues debe de haber algo donde dice misión y visión. It's going to be a, a kind of homework for you. Les va a quedar como una especie de tarea que cuando lleguen a su empresa puedan ver la misión y la visión 
para que tengamos una idea más clara. Generalmente siempre está a la vista en la parte principal y pues ahí se enfoca realmente qué es lo que queremos, ¿verdad? Ok, the second question says, how does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? How does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? What do you do every day in your company? Do you consider that take you closer to the vision of the company? ¿Considera usted que lo que hace a diario eh, lo está llevando muy cerca de la visión de la compañía en la que trabaja usted? Yes. Ok. Chao, mi. Me van avisando si de repente les voy hablando muy rápido o voy muy lento. Ahí solo me dicen, mire, teachers, slow down. Could you please speak a little low? You know, slowly, please. Ok. I'm waiting. Okay, in the second activity, so listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a pattern. And we are going to read this, and after that you are going to uh, repeat it. But just listen first. Do you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out, right? Our mission describe why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach Hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tell where our business want to get in the future. This is a, a, a conversation about a vision, you know. But I want uh, that you repeat with me, okay? Yes. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. I'm going in a slowly way. Okay. Do you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Okay. Again. Again. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear about the visit? About the visit. About the visit. Of the manager today. Of the manager. Today. Manager. 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 Idea. 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 We should be ready. We should, we be, should ready. be ready to answer question. To answer, to answer question, question about the mission and the vision. About, about the mission and the vision of the company. The company. Let's read them. Let's read them. Okay. 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 Our mission. Our mission. mission is to make our guests. Is, is to make, to make our guests feel at home. From checking to check out. From checking to check out. Right. 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 Our mission describes. Our mission describes. Again, our mission describes. Our mission describes. Why our business. Why, why our exist. Exist. exist exist and our vision 
and our mission is to become the most preferred beach is to become the most preferred beach hotel 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 by families by by 2020 by 2020 that's right that's, That's right. right. Our vision tells our, our vision, vision tells where our business where our, our business, business wants to get wants to get, 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 get in the future. In the future. Okay, I'm going to read it again. I need that you pay attention about this in order that you can get familiar with the pronunciation of some words. Uh, en español, como le dije, uh, a veces hay como algunas diferencias de acento entre un docente y otro. Y para unos puede ser más fácil de entender y para otros puede ser un poco complicado. Pero son cuestiones de, de, de acento quizás o, o de forma de pronunciación. Generalmente en esta parte de, de Latinoamérica pues tenemos como un acento neutro, ¿no? Entonces, ok, I'm going to read it again, so please uh, pay attention to it. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let us read then. Ok, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business want to get in the future. Do you have any question about this? No question. No questions? No. Okay, let us uh, practice. First of all, I'm going to choose uh, a couple. Voy a elegir una pareja, and, and you are going to perform the conversation. For example, uh, okay. Roxana. Roxana. Okay. You are going to play the role of Diana. And Rosa de Giron is going to be Celia. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Could you, could you start, please? Okay. Uh, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did be sure we already do some more questions, Abel the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read this thing. Okay, our mission is to make our ways feel I come from check in the check out. Why? Our mission descri describe why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by um, to 2020. To 2020. 2020. 2020. Okay. So, so that 2020. Okay. Yes. That's, that's right. That's right. Our vision tell where our business want to get in the future. future in, the, teacher? in the future. In, in, the, uh, in the future. In the future. Okay, in. repeat again. Future. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, Thank great. You. Good job. Okay, somebody else? I need a, a couple volunteers. Okay, Edward. Hey, Joe. What's your name? Diana? Diana. Uh -huh. Okay, Diana, you are going to be Diana, okay? 
That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Edward is going to play the royal the role of Celia. Okay, go ahead. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer a question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's return. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our vision exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? The teacher. Yo, Margarita. Okay, Margarita is going to be Diana. In? Okay. Did you hear about okay. the business? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Un momentito. ¿Quién me va con? Wilfredo, teacher. Okay, Wilfredo, go ahead. I'm going to be Celia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you are going to be Celia. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about our mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at, a, at home from checking out to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our mission is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our visions tell where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, sometimes we need to be uh, careful when we are using did. Uh, sometimes we tend to confuse, but this bear has to stay in present, right? In this case, do you hear? Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer question of what the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read then. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tell where our business wants to get in the future. Do you have any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No question. No question. Okay. Uh, before to go over, I need uh, you take a special account to the words in bold. I'm talking about this one and this one. Okay, tell me, uh, Edward. No, solo, solo una cuestión. Creo que alguien tiene el micrófono abierto y por eso es que se escucha interferencia. Yes. That is true. Sí, recordemos que solo al momento de la participación abrimos micrófono y como dije, siempre es posible que habrán eh, interferencias, pero tratemos que sean las mínimas para que podamos oír todos. ¿Verdad? 
En español y a colores me gustaría saber si hay alguna pregunta relacionada a la conversación que hemos hecho. Yo sí. Dígame. Este, ¿Cómo sería la conversación completa en español? Ah, la traducción. Correcto. Sí. ¿Oíste acerca de la visita del gerente hoy? Sí lo hice. Entonces le dice a... Uh, nosotros deberíamos ya de responder algunas preguntas acerca de la misión y la visión de la compañía. Leámosla. Ok, le dice, nuestra misión es hacer que nuestros eh, invitados se sientan en casa desde que entran hasta que salen del hotel. Cuando me refiero a, a invitados, las personas que llegan a quedarse ahí, ¿verdad? Le dice, sí, está correcto. Le dice, nuestra misión describe el por qué existe este negocio. Nuestra visión es convertirse en la más preferida, en el hotel más preferido para las familias en el 2020. Eso está correcto. Nuestra misión nos dice eh, qué es lo que el negocio quiere o hasta dónde quiere llegar en el futuro. ¿Estamos ahí? Sí, gracias. Okay. Yes, teacher. But I, I was telling you that you need to pay attention about this word that I have in bold. Las, las, las palabras que están en negría. What do you think that they are showing us? ¿Qué creen que nos están mostrando a nosotros? Una acción. Sí, podría ser. What else? ¿Qué más? Okay, maybe later we are going to come back to this part. Luego nos vamos a regresar hasta ahí. And, and we are going to talk about, about uh, activity number three. Read the mission statement of successful companies and match them to the companies on the right. Compare your answer with the pattern. That means that we need to read the mission statements. These are the mission statements that we got at the left. And we are going to match with the name of the company that we have at the right, right here. Okay, do it by yourself. <coughs> Hagamos el ejercicio de hacer uh, un pareo entre los conceptos y las compañías. We are talking about mission, right? Mission statement. Letter A is said to be the most customer-centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. Letter B, to be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. Letter C, to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. And literally, to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. I'm going to give you some uh, life, three or four minutes in order that you can solve it. But if you already got an idea, just tell me. Hello, hello, are you there? Hello, teacher. We have to answer. Oh. 
Or yeah, you, to... you, you need to ah. match them. You need to match them. Yeah. Um, for, example, to... for example, for example, Little A, little A okay, is... okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need that you solve it yourself. Solve it by yourself. And at the end, we are going to uh, work in couples in order that you can uh, compare what, what do you think, right? Yeah. Okay. Who are going to, to start? Okay, what about letter B? Who wants to read it? Let it be to be the global energy and a Chevron teacher. Global energy company most and admire for is the people partnership and performance. I okay. guess the it's Chevron, the match. Okay. Do you think that is Chevron? What about the rest yeah. of your classmate? What they think? Hello. Teacher, what's the meaning partnership and performance? Partnership is like compañerismo. And the word performance is the way how you do you work? ¿Cómo desempeña usted algo? Thanks. Okay. What about letter A, somebody? Letter A, I think is the answer Amazon. Can you read it? Amazon. Can you read it, please? Voy a tratar de leérsela yo, teacher. Okay. A little A, but... Yes. To be the most consumer-centric com company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Uh, Amazon. Okay. To be the most customer centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. Have you ever bought, uh, bought something online? ¿Alguna vez ha comprado algo en línea alguien? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. What about letter C? Letter C. Francisco Alvarenga, could you tell me something about letter C? Francisco, Francisco.
Voy a tratar de leer la C. Creo que... Ok. Uh, to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world is Nike. Nike. Okay. Have you heard uh, the pronunciation of this word in a different way? No. ¿Han, han escuchado, han oído la pronunciación de esa palabra de una forma diferente en los últimos meses? Nike. Yeah, that's right. At the beginning, everybody said Nike. But suddenly they start saying Nike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we need to take care of that. What about letter D? Uh, yo, teacher. Okay. Me corrige si me equivoco. <laughs> to be the global energy company most admired for its people. Partnership and performance. Oh, maybe you hear B and I say letter D, but it's right, okay? Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, I say letter D. <laughs> okay, letter D. Yeah. To inspire and... Um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Nurture. Nurture. Yeah. Nurture the human spirit, spirit yes. one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. Yes, that's right. Starbucks is the answer, or no? Yes, because right here it says one cup and one neighborhood at a time. Starbucks. Teacher, una pregunta. Okay. Eh, siempre en el literal de eh, nu, nature, que o oh, nature, no sé cómo, ¿qué significa? Nurtures. Uh -huh. Ok, before to give you uh, the concepts, antes de darle el, el concepto o la traducción, Nutrir. Me gustaría preguntarles si en los módulos anteriores le dieron alguna opción de, de, de algún diccionario electrónico en su teléfono. No, no, no. 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 Ah, ok. Es porque así, de esa forma, eh, se nos hace como un tanto más eh, fácil y... Por mí no hay problema, yo les puedo ir dando todo el, el, el significado de todas las palabras. Pero fíjese que a medida por, de mi experiencia que he tenido en diferentes niveles, tanto de educación media o bachillerato y universitario, y en el mío propio, que cuando me dicen la traducción de una palabra no se me queda tan fácil, hasta que la busco en mi diccionario se me queda, entonces... En un momento yo me pongo a pensar de que como que todos eh, aprendiésemos de la misma forma. Claro, yo sé que no es cierto, pero eh, es, es, es importante hoy que tenemos la oportunidad de, de, de cómo se llama, de tener un diccionario electrónico. Eh, 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 es muy bonito, pues andarlo cargando y de repente veo una palabra y, y ahí inmediatamente me, me familiarizo con ella, ¿sí? sí. Esa, esa palabra nature significa nutrición, depende del contexto, pues, alimentación. En este caso, ¿cómo sería? Nutrir. 
nutrir el, el espíritu nutrir humano, el espíritu ¿verdad? Humano. Sí, uh -huh. Sería uh -huh. como que nos inspira a nutrir el espíritu humano, algo ah, así. Ex excelente. Ok, you, have to rem uh, you need to remember that a word in English could have at least seven meanings, according to the context. Una palabra en inglés, por mínimo, puede tener que sin, siete significados diferentes, depende del contexto. Pero eso lo vamos a ir aprendiendo a medida que vayamos avanzando, porque eh, algunas veces hemos aprendido una palabra de, con cierto significado. Y cuando ya nos dicen algo, entonces entra la duda y dice, bueno, pero esto lo aprendí como tal cosa. Y ahora me están diciendo otra. Entonces, eso es sumamente importante que lo tengamos en cuenta, porque dependerá del contexto, así será eh, el significado que le vayamos dando. I don't know uh, if you have any questions so far. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que tenga una pregunta? Una pregunta de Ahorita. De literal C, eh, la pronunciación de atlete. Athlete. 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 Sí. Ok. Thank you, teacher. ¿Alguien más? Eh, teacher, con respecto al, a lo que es eh, el diccionario en inglés, usted no nos puede mandar. Sí, eh, yo les haré la sugerencia en, a través de un WhatsApp para que quien quiera con gusto se los voy a compartir. Thanks. Y hay algunos que ya traen incluso hasta la pronunciación. Eh, ahí es de tener un poco de cuidado porque algunas veces eh, vienen más británicos que americanos. But maybe in, a, in other class, and I, I can explain you the, the, the different of the accent, but not right now. But the most important is that you get familiar with the, with the English language and that you try to speak because remember that a language is, is something really important, but first of all, we need to communicate in a speaking way, even though that sometimes we need to write some letters and something else, and, and how to read something, some instructions. Everything is uh, really important. But speaking, for me, I consider that is the, the most important was then. For that reason, I invite you to, to participate in the classes, right? Recordemos que, que el hablar es el más importante. Para mí es, es como el, 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 el number one de todas las habilidades. Aunque tenemos que manejarlas casi todas, no? But the only way that you can in, uh, increase your, your skill is just practicing, right? Okay, I don't know if you have uh, something to say about it. Si alguien tenga algo que decir o preguntar, eh, recuerden que mi objetivo acá es guiarlos, ayudarles en todo lo que esté a mi alcance para que al final del módulo pues alcancemos los objetivos que nos hemos propuesto, que ya están dados en las guías. Y la mejor manera, pues, es participando. Porque en this class, the most important uh, subject is you. Okay. We can Tell use me. a translate. We can use a translate to... If you don't know some words, uh, we can use it. And yeah, you can use the, it. You can use it in order to increase uh, your knowledge. But if you can give us the dictionary, uh, I'm, I'm going to be 
Okay, because we can know. Uh, I'm going. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Um, maybe tomorrow I'm going to, to send you uh, through WhatsApp. By WhatsApp, I'm going to send. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, right here. You are going to have the chance to, to see some, some videos. Videos about essential component, components of an effective mission statements. In your free time, you are going to open the link and you are going to take a look at that. And it's going to help you a lot. And also a video about how to create an effective vision staying calm. But you are, for that reason, I need that you have the, the student guide in order that you can see it and study it in your free time. Sometime maybe in your company, you got a, a break and you say, okay, I'm going to take a look at, at the class. And that way you are going to increase your, your knowledge. Hello. Hola, la, ahora la otra pregunta, así rápida en español. ¿Se, ¿Será que me comprenden lo que les digo en inglés? Sí, teacher, pero no, no siempre, porque no algunas todo. cositas no del todo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí, este, eh, más o menos se, se toma la idea. Okay, okay. okay. That, that is the most important thing that you uh, get familiar with the language, because remember, uh, in this class, you are going to have the opportunity to practice. And don't hesitate about write your hand and ask me question and participate in the class. And that way you are going to learn something else, something extra, you know? Okay. I need that you uh, take a look at the screen right here. As you can see, uh, all the statements start with this word to be, to be, to bring, to inspire. Somebody could tell me what is the reason why this statement start with to. Hello. Me gustaría saber, después de que han observado la pantalla, que me dijeran el por qué, cuál es la razón por la cual todas las uh, declaraciones, oraciones comienzan con la partícula tú. ¿Qué sabemos al respecto de ello? Nos indican una acción, teacher. Sí. Por ejemplo, to be, to bring. Right? Es, una, es un tipo de como conjugación al verbo. Sí, exactamente. Para que empiece como... How, no how, how we call it in English? Ah. Eh, the auxiliary to and the verbs is used um, for... The start the statement, mm -hmm. but two is not an auxiliary. Para que no nos confundamos, el two es una partícula, sí. Okay, but don't worry, I'm going to explain you. Okay. 
Let me see if I can. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this right now because I need to share another screen. Let me see what I have it. This one. Okay, uh, we are going to talk about infinitives. What do you know about that? ¿Qué sabemos de los infinitivos? Hola. I don't remember well, teacher, but if you can explain the aspect. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me show you something here. Okay, let me see. Let me see what we're going to do. We are going back to see the, the manual that we have here. Okay, how we are going to use infinities? But first of all, we need to, to know exactly what is an infinity. You need to know exactly what is an infinity. Necesito que sepamos que es un infinitivo. En español, primero para luego hacer la conversión. La forma básica de un verbo. Sí, the break form. Mm, bueno, digamos que que podría ser, aunque ya cuando veamos la estructura nos vamos a dar cuenta que lo que hacemos es agregar algo a la forma base. ¿Sí? ¿Alguien más? Bueno, según lo que estuve, le pude leer ahí, dice que como que expresa una dirección, o sea, como algo que hay que hacerlo. Entonces, cuando decimos to bring, eh, estamos diciendo que como que tenemos que hacerlo, de brindar, ¿verdad? Sí. Así lo entiendo yo. Ok. ¿Alguien más? Hola. Es para iniciar como las oraciones, pero como objetivos o misiones o visiones que siempre no dejan como la acción generalizada. No le, no se, no se la ponen a un verbo, a un, perdón, a un sujeto en específico. Entiendo yo, no sé si es así. Ok. Uh, going back to the the manual and activity number four says how to use infinitive. Uh, we need to check up exercise number two and three, what's there are used to write the mission and the vision statement. And we had to make, to become, to be, to bring, to inspire, or 
could be may become be bring or inspire let us go back and take a look of it what do you see right here i don't know if you can see my my mouse no to make ah okay to make what else what else do we have there to be become to become become yeah to become the most preferred beach hotel mm -hmm, okay and now we are going to take a look right here in exercise number three to be okay to bring to inspire okay that is we call infinitives i so is key we call it infinitives right okay right here we have the form that consists of two plus the wave form or the verb are called infinitives Infinitive are used to express purpose, like mission statement. Example, why does the company exist? To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. It's underlined. Right here is underlined. To bring inspiration. And also, infinitives are also used to express directions. Like in vision statement, where is the company going? Our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Do you understand the concept? When we are going to talk about purpose, we are going to use infinitives, right? And also uh, when we are express, expressing directions, like ambition statements. But if we go back to the conversation that we have here, I need that you identify all the infinite verbs that we have in this conversation. Could you, that? Could you do that for me, please? I need that you identify all that infinite word that we have in the conversation. What about in the in the third one? Do we have only there are two verbs? No. In infinity? Yeah, take a look at that. Answer. What about in the in the last uh, in the last line that we have? Business wants to get to get mm -hmm. in the future. What else? Do we have another one? To check our questions. To get, teacher. There is infinity. Yeah, to get. Mm -hmm. Yes. To answer. To answer. What else? Mm -hmm. 
to check out. To check out. Where else do we have? Okay, let us go to exercise number five. We are going to read the statement below and correct the four mistakes related to the use of the infinitive. Then we are going to compare answer with the pattern. What about number one? To become. Can you read the whole sentence, please? May I? Yep. May I read? Go ahead, sir. Our vision is to become the number one provider of fossil supplies in San, San Miguel. Yeah. That is the vision, right? The vision is to become the number one provider of office supplies in San Miguel. What about number two? Somebody else? Our mission is to provide healthy, tasty, and economic meals to construction workers wherever they are. Okay. Did, did you find any mistake on the sentence? Or not? Tell me. Is that right? Is that sentence right? Because remember the interaction that we have, read the statement below, correct the four mistakes related to the use of infinity, okay. It's number two, right or not? It's right because it's a mission. Okay. Number three. The volunteer, please. Uh, Seria, we are going to be number one cleaning service provider for financial institu institutions. No sé cómo decir institutions. We aim to be the number one cleaning service provider for financial institutions. Institutions. Institution. Okay. Institutions. Yes. Is there any mistake in that sentence? Is that right or wrong? Tell me. Is is right because. Uh, express an uh, uh, objective or purpose? Que apuntan a ser el número uno en servicios de limpieza. Creo que eso es. Yeah, but we, Esa need, que usar ese verbo. we need to focus our attention in the infinity, right?
Is that right or wrong? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hello. What do we have to do, teacher? I'm sorry. Yeah, just to, to review the sentences if uh, if we if there is a mistake or not. Okay. What about number four? It is wrong. Because we, we have to use the brain. It is correct. Okay, um, I think that you are uh, writing down in your notebook, right? Okay, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm having a kind of problem with my inter internet service. Well, let me see to share again. Okay, I'm going to... Are you able to see... Uh, the slice that I, that I have. Pueden ver la presentación? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. 
Okay, let me let me let me get bigger this. Okay, uh, first of all, I need to give you some uh, idea when we are going to use infinitive. We use bear in infinitive after some bear such as good lie, agree, decide, choose, plan, refuse, hope, one, manage, etc. etc. For example, I want to be if you are talking about your future. I would like to buy a hamburger. This is the infinity, to buy, to buy a hamburger. And right here, you have, I choose to live by choice, not by chance. To live, to live, I chose. To live. Chance, not chance. To be motivated, not manipulated. To be useful, not used to make changes, not excuses, to excel, not compete. I choose self, self esteem, no self spirit. I choose to listen to my inner voice, not to the random opinion of other. Right here, you can find a lot of examples about how to use uh, infinitives, right? In order that you can get uh, a better idea how to use infinitive. What else do we have here? Also, uh, you can use a verb infinity with some objective. For example, I'm happy to see you smile. We are happy to serve you. We are sad to see you go. One of these, uh, you can find it even in your companies. I'm happy to see you smile. Mm -hmm. To see, I'm happy to see you smile. What about the, the cup? We are happy to serve you. Yeah, and the last one? We are sad to see you go. Yeah. In all the example, you can uh, find infinitives. But also we can use it to express the reason why we are doing something, right? I just came here to read the comments. This year, I hope to, that means you are, you are going to tell the reason what you plan to do. You are going to express the reason. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, okay, what about if you are going to use in a negative way? This is important not. The negative form of the infinity is not plus infinity. Example. Oh God, I have not, and something happened there. You know? Teacher, is antes or después del verbo? La partícula not. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, for example, if you say, I don't have to tell you, I don't have, I don't have. I don't have to tell you. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to go there. That means that is a, a, a before the the main pair. Oh. 
Okay, going back to all of you, I need that, uh, that you tell me something about this topic because I, I don't want to be only the only one talking about in, in this class and I need that all of you can participate. But uh, sometime maybe it's going to be a kind of, kind of hard in order to understand exactly what I'm trying to explain you. But it's not right that I give you all the, the explanation in Spanish because what, what we want is that you get familiar with the, with the English language, right? Hello. It's okay, teacher. Well, what about the rest of the class? Hola, hola, hola. Hola. Hello. Ok, veamos si se me durmieron. ¿Será que se me durmieron? Veamos la asistencia otra vez. Margarita Stephanie apareció. Aquí estoy. Oh. Present. Excelente. Sí, es para que no se me duerman. Karen Yesenia. Karen Yesenia, are you there? Karen, Karen. Ada Daisy Arevalo. Ana Daisy, Ana Daisy, are you there? No. Carolina, Diana Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Wilfredo Guardado. I'm here teacher. Okay, Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. No. Leslie. Leslie Fernández. Hello. Se escucha. Sí. Yes. Francisco. Edgar Ademir. Present, teacher. Okay, Christian Abdulio. Present, teacher. Felicita Cruz. Felicita Cruz. Helen Maria. No. Ana Roxana. Fausto Antonio. Present. Carla Marielos. Present. Margarita Stephanie. Present. Eliani Alejandra, right? Present. Walter Mauricio. Present. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let us continue. I'm going to share my screen again. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Remember that we were uh, trying to solve, trying to check up all the mistakes right here in this one. 
And the number three we mentioned, we say we aim to be the number one cleaning service provider for financial institutions. Do we have any mistake here or not? Not, it's correct. Okay, what about the number four? We exist to bring in telecommunication solution for businesses in rural areas. Is that right? No. No. Why? The form the verb is in ing. 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 Yeah. Okay, that's right. When we talk about infinitive, we don't. We don't. We don't need bring. to have ing. ing. Yeah. Bring. We exist to bring. bring. Okay. What an, What about number five? We should be leader in the distribution of energy drinks in the regional markets. Is wrong. Uh, yes. Um, because necessary um, to. The particular two. Okay, tell me how 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 gonna be. It's incorrect. It is wrong, teacher. Yeah, it's wrong, right? It's wrong. But but how? I need that you tell me how is the right way. The right way, uh, it is, it fish. will be, we have vision to be? To be leader, yes. Leader, uh -huh. this, The distribution of energy drinks. I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry. Would you continue? Okay, somebody else tell me, tell me. The form correct. Yeah, yeah, the right way, how, how is it? Um, we ambition to be leaders in the distribution, distribution. This distribution. Distribution okay. of energy drink in the regional market. Okay. And the last one? And the last one, teacher, uh, is wrong. It is wrong. Okay. Why? Because the, the, the great the form company. is my company's vision is to become. It is not becoming. Yeah, it's to become. The most, most the prefer most prefer prepared. Uh -huh. Referee hail salon for adolescent. For adolescent, right. Okay, that's right. Okay, uh, let us go. I don't know if you have any question about this exercise. Do you have questions? No question. No questions? No question. Okay, okay. Uh, go ahead to the exercise number six, your term. Uh, choose a local company or thing of your own and write an effective mission and vision statement for it. Assess your mission and vision statement using the checklist in the box. And we have uh, the right mission statement should be original, memorable, succinct, related to the staff. And the vision statement should be about the future, directional, and descriptive. 
Is that possible that you can write down uh, a mission and a vision of our company? En español, para los que no entendieron, necesitamos elegir una compañía a la que usted se le, se le ocurra y escriba una misión y una visión. Son oraciones las que debemos de escribir. Y podemos ayudarnos en, en el checklist que tenemos al lado derecho. Podría ser Caes. Yeah, uh, you can choose your own. La compañía que cada uno de ustedes oh, okay. prefiera o la, okay. la, la que conozca. Okay. And I'm going to give you uh, five minutes in order to write it. But I need that all of you choose one company. Okay. <clears throat> Una de las palabras, teacher, disculpe, solo para entenderle. Una okay. de las palabras que están en la misión y una en de la visión es la que vamos a usar para hacer la... La uh, yes, but uh, what is telling you is that you need to be original. The word that you are going to to use, the mission has to be original, memorable, and you you need to take into account all, all the statements. Okay. Somebody else wants to ask me something about this? May I try, teacher, to say okay. the, the vision of my company? Do you have it? May I try? Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, to my company, the vision is to be the original, com original company that the uh, inspired to the customer, to the buy all product. Nice. What about the vision? The vision. Yep. The vision uh, can be to be of the top of the company. To be? Around the world. Okay. To be? Mm -hmm. Yep. The top. Uh, Go ahead. About the, the seller, the best seller of the product. Okay, okay. Okay, remember that you need to write down all your ideas in your notebook. In every class, you need to have your, your pen, your notebook, uh, maybe a dictionary or something like electronic, you know, electronic device in order to help you. That is going to help you a lot in order to produce, could be writing or speaking even. Okay. Okay. Somebody else wants to try? Mm. 
many that all of you have a clear idea of what we are going to do. Lo que necesitamos es elegir una compañía local o pensar en una propia y escribir una misión y una, una visión. Y nos podemos auxiliar del cuadro que tenemos a la derecha, que tiene que ser algo original. Y todos los apartados que ahí se, se, se encuentran. Esos son como sugerencias. And as I told you before, maybe tomorrow that you are going to arrive in your company, you are going to take a look at the mission and vision. But the most important thing is that you be able to, to write effective business mission and vision statement. Using infinity bears. Teacher, así como ahí, eh, podría ser como enfocado a Dollar City, por ejemplo, Mission Statement to the Original Product. Could you repeat again, please? Sorry? Could, could you repeat again, please? Okay, Dollar City Mission Statement to the Original Product. Okay, uh, I, I need that you pay a a special attention to the infinity. Um, mission the same is show to be. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, that's right. Remember, you have a, uh, you have the time in order to think in one company and write down mission and vision. Somebody else? Hello, hello. Teacher. Hello. I read, no, it's going to be right. I write the missions uh, and the visions. The missions to satisfy the needs and expectations of our customer by offering the best products. Okay. What okay. else? What else? Ambitions to be the best distribution. It's right. Distri distribution company in the country and Central America. To be the leader in distribution, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the idea. Is that right? Somebody else? Thank you. 
Yo tengo la mía, teacher. Ok, chao. Chao, chao. To be a company original white, with, perdón, a sense of responsibility with the environment. Esa es la misión. Y okay. la visión sería the to vision. provide a quality service to users. Ok, to provide quality service to users. Mm -hmm. Ok. Remember that, that you need to write down all your ideas in your notebook. Every class you need to have your notebook and a pen or a pencil in order to keep it there. Maybe you are going to use it later. Okay, somebody else? What about you, Carla Marielo? Teacher. Hello? Uh, my vision um, to be a lady in service food for errands in the country. Okay. Mm. What else? Okay. Falta la otra, no le he hecho. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Okay, remember that it's mandatory to use your camera on. De acuerdo a las políticas de la empresa que sirve los servicios, tenemos que tener siempre la cámara encendida. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguien más que ya tenga su idea? Just tell me. For the next class, I need that all of you get your manual in order that you uh, can get familiar with the topic that we are going to study and that way is is going to be helpful for you. Les pido de, de favor que ya para la otra clase tengamos eh, todos el manual para que así sepamos eh, los temas en los que vamos a a ir trabajando, ¿no? Y así se nos va a hacer un tanto más fácil Es posible que quizás el día de hoy pues hayan sentido así como medio difícil o tal vez no. Teacher. Tell me. I, I, ha I have a question. Okay, go may ahead. I, may I get this manual uh, during the day in my job? Or yeah. Only weekend when we are... Uh, in the conference. Well, what, what I suggest you is that you can download it in your cell phone. And every time that you, yeah. that you have a, a free time, you can take a look at the topic or even some exercises that appear there. And that way we are going to get familiar with the information that the manual have. Yeah. But, but it's really important that all of you have it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, I know that, that the schedule is uh, that we need to finish at 10. 
but I, I need to be sure that all of you are there. And uh, before that we go, uh, I would like to ask you some questions related with the topic that we have studied today. Could somebody tell me what we, what we were talking about? The infinitive form. Okay. When we, are, when we are going to use infinity? To express missions, visions. Okay. What else? To express uh, one direction. Uh, okay. Do you remember something about the slices that I show you? Uh, to be, to bring. Uh, only. Okay. Before we go, I need a you create in your mind a sentence using infinitives. If you have it, just tell me. Antes de que, de que nos vayamos, necesito que me creen una oración usando un infinitivo. relacionado a cualquier actividad diaria que hagamos. Por ejemplo, I can say I need to I need to eat something. Okay, teacher. May I say my sentence? Okay. Every class I I have to I have to be writing all ideas about the classes and I'm not a notebook or tissue paper okay, to okay. don't remember what you're <laughs> talking about. Okay, right. Thank you. Somebody else? Teacher, um, in my work, I want to be the best. I want to be the best, okay? Somebody else? Eh, yo tengo una teacher. Okay, Charlie. I need, I need you to explain something in Spanish. <laughs> Repeat again, please. I need you to explain something in Spanish. Mm, okay. What about the rest of participants? Do you think that the sentence is right? No, no, I pardon. Do you say, I need to explain? Uh -huh. I need to explain. I need to explain. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Somebody else? Teacher. Hello. Warren, I want to learn a beer. Bider is traducir, como dice? Translate. Translate. 
Ya. Oke. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, a homework for you. For the next class for tomorrow, uh, I need that uh, you. We were talking about mission and vision, right? Estuvimos hablando de la misión y la visión. Try to remember uh, the mission and the vision of your company in the place where you work and try to translate into English. And tomorrow we can share it right here. And that way we are going to participate and practice the language. I don't know if you have any question so far for today. Okay, teacher. Thank you. I do really appreciate uh, that you be here with me and remember that my purpose is just to help you to learn something new. And uh, I invite you to continue tomorrow in order that we can continue learning something new, okay? Okay, teacher, bye. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Everybody. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you, see you. See you tomorrow. Remember, if you have any question, just uh, write me a message in WhatsApp and I can help you. Okay, thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow then.